We continue to follow breaking news. We're now hearing from this man, one of three people who told police they were tied up inside a Ponte Vedra Beach apartment while robbers took everything they had. You live in Ponte Vedra, you don't expect that, you, you know? That home invasion robbery led to an Amber Alert this morning. That alert has since been canceled after 16-year-old Marcus Hatch was found safe about three hours ago. Now, according to the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office, Hatch was located here in Jacksonville unharmed. But police are still looking for the three men who were suspected of kidnapping the teen and later carrying out the home invasion. Channel 4's Chris Parento has been following the investigation for us all day long. He's joining us live from Ponte Vedra Beach where he spoke to that victim. And Chris, we can tell this man's still pretty shaken up by this ordeal extremely shaken up and still in fear after all of this happened less than 24 hours ago. He says that it was getting dark last night when all of this happened. He was tied up along with his girlfriend and then eventually their roommate for hours. He has just returned back to the apartment complex. He says he's going to be staying with family members for the time being while everything gets sorted out. But listen to him firsthand of what happened last night. So last night, me and my girlfriend are just hanging out at the house, and uh, there's a knock on the door around six-ish, you know, when it's getting dark out, so I couldn't really see too much out the people. So I just opened the door, see who it is, and next thing you know, I guess there was uh, other people, like, where I couldn't see in blind sides, and they came running in with guns and um, made me and my girlfriend get down, ran all our stuff, took our keys, wallets, credit cards, IDs. They took my car. Um, they held us there for, we were there for five hours. Yeah, they kept us hostage for five hours and uh, kept threatening to kill us, you know, do crazy things. Police still looking for the three suspects in this case. They describe the first one as a black male, five feet, nine inches tall, with four to five inch dreadlocks with beads and four silver caps on his top four teeth. They say that suspect was wearing a red hoodie, black sweatpants, and dark gym shorts underneath as all of this happened. The second suspect is described as five feet eight, 170 pounds, and was wearing a camo jacket, tan cargo vest, tan cargo pants and dark van style shoes with a black and white beanie. The third suspect is described as six feet two inches tall, 180 to 190 pounds with a tattoo near the corner of his eye. He was last seen wearing a camo jacket with blue jeans and black Jordan style shoes with red soles. Also a black beanie cap. Police also looking for this person who they're calling a person of interest and a white Jeep Grand Cherokee. Investigators say that person used the victim's credit cards at two area gas stations, but they do not believe that he was present as this home invasion was taking place. Investigators with the St. John's County Sheriff's Office tell me that right now they don't have any new information that they are able to release, but I'll have much more from the man who was tied up and held hostage for hours last night coming up tonight, all new at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live in Ponte Vedra Beach. I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, the local station.